As programmers, we're often asked to mess around with strings. So these are combinations of letters and characters and things like that, um, which, yeah, we often need to just change in some way in a program. So we're going to cover the most common ways that we need to sort of change strings. So these are the kind of things that come up in exam questions. So it's definitely worth going over because it's a really useful trick for you to know. Um, let's just start off with a little bit of, of, of sort of test days that we can muck around with. Let's just have, oh, I don't know, let's have something, a, a variable called greeting, okay? Uh, and that's going to have in it, he, let's just do this, hello, it is... And it's just going to leave it there, like on, on a cliffhanger almost. Um, and then we're going to have another variable called day. And there we're going to have that. We're going to have a space here. Just make sure that's sort of like clear space there. And let's do, I don't know, let's just do Tuesday. Okay, so hello it is, and then a separate variable, Tuesday. Now I've got that data sort of separate, and I hope you can see that maybe there's some sort of program I can make at this where my greeting is always going to be hello it is, but then the day might change. So it could be Tuesday, Monday, whatever. But how can I add them together? If I want to print this out all in one line, hello it is Tuesday, how do I do it? Well, that is called concatenation. When you are um, adding two strings together, really, it's called concatenation. And it's just, it's really as you'd expect, to be honest. So. Um, uh, print greeting plus day that will do it that's how I concatenate strings together um, in Python and also in OCR sort of pseudocode that is how I do it different program languages honestly have different ways of doing it but that is the most common thing that you will see so that would print out just so uh, just so we know that would definitely print out this to the screen hello it is Tuesday but then I could do something like this I could change what's in day pull the same sort of line so I'm adding them together and I would get a different result out and like I said that is called concatenation anytime I'm adding two strings together uh, we call it concatenation okay so that's sort of like the simpler one uh, the next thing we need to deal with is how I can sort of slice strings up and how I can get um, data from a string so let's just uh, play around this idea let's just do this uh, imagine that I'm going to get a string um, and it's going to be it's going to be a date and let's just assume um, that it's always going to be in this particular format so let's just do uh, 13th uh, of sixth always going to have a zero there uh, and then let's have yeah 2020 20, let's do that okay so if I assume and I know my date's always going to be in this format it's always going to be uh, what one two three four five six seven eight characters long so I'm going to put zeros in where I need to then I can start mucking about of it so if I wanted for example um, what month that I'm in and then I need to pull out somehow zero six from here so these are the two characters that I'm interested in so the question is like, how do I do that? And we do it like this. We go my date and then we need to use a particular word. OK, so we use my date and then we have to put a dot after it. Uh, and then we use the word substring. And this is actually calling something called a function, which you can have a look about other videos about sub programs, things like that, to try and understand what's sort of going on here. But if you remember my uh, whatever the name of the variable is that's got your string in it, dot substring to sort of like snip out part of the string that you're using. OK, so I need to get 06 here. How do I do that? There's two bits of information I need to know. First off is the starting position uh, for the string that I want to take, the, the substring that I want to take, and the second thing is the length of data that I want to take. First thing to know about is that this, this is horribly confusing. I know if you're not used to programming, but I always start counting from zero when I'm dealing with strings. So, so the number one here is in position zero, Number three here is in position one. This sort of slash here is in position two. And zero is in position three. Okay, so I want to start from position three. Now I want then two characters. So I want zero and I want six. I just want those two things. So then I put two after it. Okay, that is how I would snip out um, just the month from that date string. And then I could do something like this. I can do print month. And what would I get? Well, I should get then just 06. All right, see if you can figure out in your head how you would get the year then. All right, same sort of idea. And if you think about it, I still need to do them on my date and then I need to do dot and substring. What I need to do is start from here. Yeah, I need to get these two numbers here, don't I? Two and zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. I want to start from position six here. So I'm going to put six first off and then I want two characters because I want two and zero. So there you go, that's how I would do that there, six and two. So that's how you um, get a substring, also called slicing. It's a bit of an advanced technique for, uh, for strings, um, but it's an important one for you to know. If you know how to slice up a string to get part of a day, part of a string from a large string, and you know how to add strings together, then you know all you need to know uh, for string manipulation. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. 
keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.